Finally, it was time to complete this project of DIY 3D printer. In this third and final part, we will complete the electronic setup, install the firmware and have a test print. So let's get started. I have used an Arduino Mega paired with a RAMPS 1.4 shield as the main controller for the printer. The RAMPS shield uses A4988 stepper motor drivers. We will require 4 of them, 3 for the XYZ axis motors and 1 for the extruder motor. I place the drivers on the shield board and place the board on the Arduino. Mechanical end stop switches are used for home positioning of the printer. I placed end stop switches at the end of every axis and used hot glue to fix them on place. I then connected a 70 cm long Teflon tube from the extruder to the extruder motor for the board and setup. I started to unwind all the wires and make all connections. Fix the wires on place using zip ties. I made sure that the wires do not obstruct the movement of the machine. I used this 12 volt 20 amps power supply to power the machine. Connected the AC mains input wires and made two 12 volt DC connections to the RAMPS input pin. I then started to do the wiring according to this wiring diagram. Connected all the stepper motor wires, end stop switches, heated bed, cooling fan and extruder heater. Once the wiring was done, I connected the Arduino to my laptop using a USB data cable. Downloaded the Marlin firmware, made necessary changes according to my printer and uploaded the firmware using Arduino IDE. I connected the power supply to the board and started the application Pronto Face. This application allows us to control the machine along with sending print commands. I tested the movement of the axis. Inserted the filament and heated the extruder. I then used a piece of paper and calibrated the Z-axis. Make sure that there is only enough gap between the extruder and the bed so that the paper can move. Once it was calibrated, the machine was ready for a test print. I designed a mount plate for the Arduino, sliced it using Slick 3R and gave a print command using Pronto Face. It took roughly 2 hours and it was pretty decent for a first print. I then removed all the wiring from the board the board on the printer with my newly printed mount plate and did the wiring again. I shortened the wire lengths and used this crimp tool to crimp the wires again. I printed these filament holders and placed my filament on it. Once the wiring was done, I printed a benchy at 0.2mm layer height. Thank you. 
It took around 2 hours for it to print and the result was much impressive for a DIY 3D printer. There are many upgrades to be made on this printer but it is a subject for another video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, share and subscribe for more such videos.